Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back, you guys. I am so excited to be sitting here. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, if you didn't see it on Sunday in the community tab, I actually posted that the videos this week were going to be kind of sporadic. Obviously, no Monday video because I was actually able this weekend for Easter, I was able to see my niece and I was so excited. So I ended up not filming, obviously, hence why we're having this conversation. And a bunch of you guys were so, so supportive in the comments to that, like sending me DMs, telling me, you know, Paige, relax, take time be with family and it got me to really thinking like I, obviously I love my family and like I loved getting to see her it was amazing but I really miss when I don't post videos I genuinely miss this interaction and like getting to see you guys and getting to post content and so I was trying to figure out like what was something that I could do something we could you know just do together that would be more chill laid back and the first thing that popped into my head was a haul video because I actually just got a package today um, that was delivered from Beautylish so I thought we would go through that go through a couple of things that were sent to my P.O. box. Oh, and a couple of things that were sent over from Look Fantastic, which we'll get into all that here in a bit. And that's really all today's video is, is just me in sweats, hanging out, going through some packages. I have a Diet Coke with light ice, and I hope that you guys have got something to eat, a snack, some, something going on. I hope you're nice and comfy. And of course, you guys can let me know too, if you like these type of videos, if you like hauls, if you like, you know, maybe the more laid back side of things, just getting to hang out, if that's your thing. Uh, again, comment down below. Let me hear from you. Oh, and also too, I'm not going to get into the spiel, but if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, Normally, I upload three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's my usual schedule, right around like 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And I would also really appreciate it if you'd go follow me on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. I'm trying to hit 10K. I post a ton of content, plus-size fashion, makeup, testing new makeup, makeup reels, makeup IGTVs, blah, 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 all kinds of stuff. I hang out in the Insta stories. And uh, yeah, it's a whole thing. So make sure you check that out. I'll have everything linked down below. And oh, and I'll also have all of this linked down below too, okay? All the things. So if you want to check those out, purchase them, whatever, I'll have everything linked. But without any further ado, with no further ado, with no more gilding the lily, oh my god, R.I.P. Heath Ledger, A Knight's Tale is one of the best movies, okay? The best of all time. Fight me. Uh, I love it so much. But anyways, without any further ado, let's get going into the packages. Okay, so first off, I want to start by going through some of the P.O. Box stuff, some of the stuff that you guys sent to me. And these are just going to be a couple of the actual items. I'm not going to get into, like, the cards, the letters, stuff like that, because they are a little bit more on the personal side and um, obviously I don't want to you know be out here sharing other people's personal stuff so I'm gonna leave that to just me and also for anybody out there that's wondering like is this new where where did this P.O. box thing come from um, I've had it I want to say since like maybe December January right around in there and I will have it uh, listed in the description box if there's anything you want to send obviously do not feel obligated don't feel like you need to go out of your way because let me just say it this way okay I never in a million years okay I never in a million years thought that there would be anybody out there that wanted to send me even a letter, okay, much less, you know, actual packages and items and things that, like, they spend their money on, and I can't put into words how much it means to me that you guys take the time to do this stuff. The fact that you guys care about me so much that you want to take that time and, like, put put the exuded effort into me or into my interests or things that are personalized to my liking, like, it is mind-boggling to me, and I just think it is the sweetest thing. And I think at this point, too, if you've been watching me, like, you know I don't take this for granted, and I don't take this relationship for granted. And I just, I can't get past the fact that, like, there's people out there that want to take the time to do this. Like, it is mind-boggling to me. So, thank you so, so much. Again, if you've taken the time to send something, wh whatever it is, thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate it so much. All right, so with all my emotional stuff out of the way here, let's get into the first item. And I actually only have one of them here. This is a mask from the brand Humankind. And they sent me these. I want to say this was actually the first package I received from them. And, guys, their masks are fan freaking tastic like I said they sent me two I kept this one um clean and in the package so I would have something to show that didn't look disgusting when I did this video They're actually really nice because the actual texture of them is so so soft like when you put them against your face they are so lightweight they just feel wonderful and obviously because they're on the stretchy side of things you know you can see these have a lot of movement to them they just fit the face so well let me go ahead here and put this on like look at that Look at all the room and it covers my entire face, like from here all the way down. And I love too that with theirs, they don't have like any hard edging on them. So when you put them on your makeup, they actually don't like cut into your face. They don't cut into my foundation. I just really appreciate these because they give you beautiful mask coverage without feeling like they're just like encompassing my whole face. Again, they don't feel heavy and I really, really like them, which I said this before, but I will have everything of course linked down below and I'll have their site linked down below. They're really, really nice masks and I really like them. So thank 
thank you guys so much for sending these. All right, so a couple of things. Going into the next couple of packages here, uh, which first of all, I just messed with the camera, so if the out framing right here looks different, that's why. But these other two packages, I had no freaking clue who they were from, okay? I finally figured out who the last package I'm gonna talk about, I finally figured out where that one came from because she sent me a DM over on Instagram asking me, wanting to make sure that she got it, so I know who that's from. But this next package, I have no idea, so if it was you that sent it to me, please, please drop it down in the comments so I can thank you because this is the sweetest thing. You guys, somebody sent me two personalized fans. These are the cutest thing. This one says, hashtag Seeking Alexandria, and this one says, hello, beautiful people, you guys. How cute are these? Let me do them one at a time. Here is the hello, beautiful people, which, oh my God, okay, it's so me. And then here's the other one that says, hashtag Seeking Alexandria. It's got little lips and a lipstick. And if I had to guess why these were sent over, I would say it's because I have broken uh, roughly 17 mirrors at this point. Um, like, I break the handles off because I use them as a fan. And so whoever sent these, thank you so much <laughs> for being so thoughtful and so sweet and for having them personalized. And I just, seriously, I appreciate this so, so much. And my God, do these work so much better than a freaking mirror. Okay, let me just tell you, these things can duck some wind. These are like a turbine coming at my face and I love it. All right, so last up here, this one is from Brianna. She's the one that sent me the message over on Instagram. And Brianna, thank you so freaking much. You guys, she sent me the Nikki Tutorials palette from Beauty Bay. And I am so freaking pumped. I did not have this. Oh my God, this looks so good, you guys. I am so freaking excited. Look at, oh my God, look at these big old beefy pants. Okay, let's just get, get out of here. I got time for you. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, look at this. I am so excited. Let's just maybe, let's just maybe swatch a couple. Okay, we're here to swatch all in. That feels wonderful. We have Aura, we've got Pride. We have, I love that I just swatched all the shimmers, you guys. Those feel miraculous. Okay, ma'am, look at, oh my God, you are so gorgeous. I am so excited right now. Oh my God, that purple shade, oh, stunning. Texture, 10 out of 10, these feel like so Ilk on my fingers. Right, and you know what? While we're here, let's swatch some of these matte shades. My God, these feel wonderful. Look at those colors. They're so freaking vibrant. Where am I? Page, where are you planning on putting these? I don't know. Oh my God. Like, look at the pigmentation, you guys. These are so beautiful. And that color green is such a nice color. I don't have anything like that, I don't think, in my entire collection. Oh my God. All right, so you guys can tell me down below. Do you think maybe I should do like an Instagram reel with this? Because that's what I'm thinking. And oh my God, like these colors, the textures. Oh, chef's kiss. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Brianna. All right, so next up I have, I think, eight or nine gifted items from Look Fantastic. And guys, when I tell you, okay, I have by Terry lipsticks in here. By Terry lipsticks. We're gonna be talking about them, swatching them, and I'm so excited. Um, but these are actually a part of their spring cleaning campaign. I wanted to make sure I had all the information. As a part of this campaign, they actually have obviously all the items I'm gonna talk to you guys about today, as well as a host of other ones on a link that I'll have linked down below um, that you can get for 22% off. They gave me my code. I know, super, super random percentage, right? But it also caught my eye. I'm interested. The code for that is Alexandria22, which of course I will have listed down down below and it does say in here that um, the discount code will give you guys 22% off of the US Look Fantastic website. Um, exclusions do apply but it'll work on anything that I'm featuring again the next eight or nine items that they sent over and uh, so I'll have everything linked down below if you want to check that out obviously do so. It's not a commission link. I don't earn any money off of it. Um, this isn't a sponsorship. These were just gifted but I still wanted to go through because oh my god I'm so excited. You guys I am so did I mention by Terry Lipsticks? You know what Wait, maybe we should just start with the by Terry Lipsticks. Okay. okay. All right, so I grabbed two different shades here. I grabbed a matte and a shine. Let's go ahead and start off with the matte one here. This is the By Terry Lip Expert Matte Rouge Lipstick, liquid lipstick here. And it is in the shade three, Rosy Kiss. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a little swatch. Oh, it has kind of like a whipped texture. Oh my God, very thin, very lightweight. Oh, super pretty color. Very, very like in-season spring Eastery kind of vibe. And then while that one dries down, because that's supposed to be the matte shade here, let's go ahead and look at the Lip Expert Shine Liquid Lipstick. This says it is a brilliant, intense, hydrating gloss with a vibrant color impact. Okay, and this one is in the shade two, Vintage Nude. Ooh, baby, give me some of that Vintage Nude. Oh, I like this color. 
color a lot. It's almost like um, like a like a purpley toned brown. You can see it right there. That is a beautiful shade. You know what? Maybe we should apply just some of that like right on my lips here. I don't really have on anything right now because in preparation for this video, I was like, bitch, why would I add more when I could just play around with what's in this box? Okay, so this is a non-sticky gloss, which I love. And I think that this color is perfect. If you wanted to pair it with the lip liner, wear it by itself. I think you can actually do a lot with this one because the texture is very lightweight, almost more on like that balm gloss kind of texture that we're seeing a lot of right now. All right, so I also grabbed two lip liners, which now that I think about it, probably should have done this in the other order. But I grabbed two lip liners from the brand Delilah. I've actually never tried them, which is one of the things too, side note, that I really liked about their website. I feel like they have a ton of products and a ton of brands that I've either never tried or never heard of. And it's just kind of awesome to go on there and have like a nice mixture of things I'm familiar with, things that I'm not. And I just, I kind of know, I kind of feel like it kind of like spices up the game for me, which is fun. But uh, anyways, two lip liners from Delilah. I have Naked, <laughs> what is it with me and Naked? My God, I'm just buying all the Naked things today. Um, Naked 3001 and Pout 3003. Ooh, that is a beautiful, beautiful shade. This one right here is Pout 3003. It's more of like a, I would say kind of like a pinkish toned brown shade. And then the other one, which is Naked 3001. Ooh, this one's kind of like a satin pink shade. Very, very pretty. You can see that one right there. Now, as far as the makeup side goes, that is what I picked out from their site because I also wanted to spread a little love to the brushes because they had some brushes on there that I've never tried or, again, from brands I've never tried. And uh, they looked really beautiful. So I'm going to start off here with the, what is this, Illamasqua brush. And, guys, this, oh, my God, this feels wonderful. Maybe I need to sweep anything on my face, anything at all. Oh, my God, look at Fenty powder. Yes, perfect. Literally anything to experience this. Oh, my God, this brush feels wonderful. Like, wow, what a beautiful, and I like the rounded taper at the top, too. I feel like a lot of these brushes have more of, like, a pointed moment going on, and this one is, like, ever so gently um, rounded at the top. I actually think it would work really beautiful if you wanted to use it for blush, like all along this area, or even if you wanted to use it as more of a sculpting bronzer or a contour. All right, so next up I have the Japanesque 717 Blush Brush here. It's technically called the Blush Brush, but I grabbed it because I actually think the profile of this would be good for anything if you wanted to use it for bronzer, blush, or highlight, because it has just the perfect little dome right here, and I just feel like the diffusing part of this. I need a blush, hello? Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this one. This is the Buxom white Russian palette, which I will have linked down below. You guys, this is a fantastic, fantastic palette. I digress, but it's really good. I'll have it linked. Okay, so my number one fear with brushes is that they're going to turn out to be, like, scratchy, that they're going to make my face itch. That's a huge issue with mine, because if you're new here, I do have, like, autoimmune diseases, fibro, and stuff like that, so I'm super, super sensitive um, to texture, and I was just really apprehensive because I've never tried their blushes, but this feels really, really nice. The product lays down beautifully, and I love this profile, too. My my God, I'm like picking 10 out of 10 winners on these blushes or on these brushes, on these blushes, on these blushes. No, on these brushes. This feels so, so good. Oh my God. Yes. All right. So the final item that I got sent over from Look Fantastic here, this is their um, Look Good, Feel Better. That's the brand. And this is their multitasking brush. And again, this is a brand that I had never heard of. So I wanted to test it out. And my God, this has such a nice texture to it. This has more of like a medium density, I would say. So if you're wanting to use it either for like a cream foundation to buff that into the skin cream products. I think all of that would for sure work, but you could also use this as more of like a dense setting powder kind of brush. Like I would actually use this if I wanted to cut along the jawline or pack on like a powder foundation. Where is my powder foundation? Let's give it a go. What the hell? What else are we doing, right? So I'm going to be taking the Fenty powder foundation. By the way, this is also what I'm wearing right now. This is in the shade 150. I'll have it linked down below. And I'm just going to take here and pack that on. Okay, so this feels so nice. I'm able to work it all over my face and actually use it in like a pressing motion and I'm not having any issues. You know what I would actually really, really like this for? Not only like on the foundation side of things, I think it would work great, but I would really enjoy this because the texture of it is so nice and movable. Like again, it has more of that medium uh, density to it, but the profile of it is so nice. I would actually really like this, I think, as a cream bronzer brush. A cream bronzer brush. I think it would work really really well at like buffing it in. All right, so that's the end of the Look Fantastic stuff. Again, don't forget you guys can use the Alexandria 22, get 22% off, and of course I'll have all the products and everything linked down below if you want to check them out. And again, thank you guys over at Look Fantastic for sending that over. That was super duper sweet. Um, it's just awesome, you guys. Like get, getting to test out stuff. Oh, wait a second. I just realized there, I missed an item. Hold on. 
pause. I did miss one. It is right here and it is a brow pencil. Do you know how upset I would have been if I would have just carried on my merry ass way and I would have forgot my brow pencil? I would have been very upset because this is one I've actually never tried. It's from Rimmel's because they actually have um, a drugstore on there as well if I didn't say that yet. And this is the Rimmel Brow This Way Fill and Sculpt Eyebrow Definer. I have it in the show. Uh oh, I have it in the shade 004 Soft Black. Uh oh, that's not my color, but that's okay. Let's go ahead here. Give it a swatch. This is more of like the teardrop shape, so it's not the pinpoint one uh, that you might be used to if you see me using these. Okay, so color, definitely not mine, because again, soft black, which is not my hair color, um, but the texture of this is interesting. I would say it's definitely kind of medium firm, leaning more toward the firm side, so if you like that, if you really like to um, be able to sculpt your brows, have it be a little bit more of a rigid intensity, this is definitely that kind of a pencil. Oh my god, and I love this spoolie. Ooh, has a good spoolie. Excuse me, sir, I'm talking about spoolies. Guys, people are just driving around being all loud and obnoxious, and I'm trying to talk about brows. Okay, so with the brow pencil I talked about, now we are officially done with the Look Fantastic box. Um, again, I'll have everything linked down below, the code and all of that. And at this point, we are now officially ready, wha-bam, okay, to get into this big old beefy girl. I have got such a good haul here from Beautylish. If you're wondering to yourself, Paige, where did this haul come from? Did they have a sale? What was going on? I have three words for you. Gift card event. And oh, it got me good. It got me good, you guys. Because I was just, I found myself perusing, just like tiddly-ly, tiddly-ly, just adding things to my car. And before I knew it, I, I had a hell of a cart and I, I couldn't help myself because I needed it, okay? I needed to try it um, because there's things in here that I desperately wanted to try. So let's go ahead and get into it. And I'm actually gonna kick this off with a couple of items that you guys already know I love. I talk about them all the time. And that is none other than the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. You guys, this is a fantastic, fantastic cleansing balm. I love it. Um, it's, it's actually, I would say probably in my top like three favorites that I've ever tried as far as texture, quality, and especially what you get for the price. It is so good. Obviously, I bought the double pack. It's, oh my god, like, I cannot recommend this enough to you. And actually, you know what? While we're on this little Good Molecules train, okay, toot toot, beat beat, bitch, we're coming through because I got some more stuff. And we're gonna continue on with this. This is actually a newer launch. I've never tried it from them. This is the Good Molecules BHA Clarifying Gel Cream, and it's formulated with salicylic acid, and it's supposed to help, um, you know, more blemish-prone skin. It's supposed to kind of help keep that under control. And obviously, you guys know me. I have super, super acne-prone skin between, like, being acne-prone as well as having cystic acne, hormonal acne. I got this brain tumor situation. So I wanted to test it out, see if it works. And of course, I will let you guys know um, if it does, because I'm, I'm all about controlling that acne. But also don't be ashamed of your acne. Don't feel like it's some weird thing that only you get. Don't feel like it needs to make it so, so you know you can't go out and live your life because acne is just that. It's acne. It doesn't get to control your life. Don't give it that much power. And that's all I'm gonna say on that because I spent way too many years feeling like I needed to suffocate my skin with makeup because I had such bad acne. And I just wanna tell you guys that because I don't want you to have to feel like you need to live the same way, okay? Don't You don't have to. There's nothing weird about acne. Don't be ashamed of it. Yes, try products, try to curb it and all of that and like try to, you know, find skincare that works for you. But when those blemishes creep up, don't feel like you gotta be ashamed of them, okay? Just PSA for me to you. You don't, you don't have to do that. All right, so next up, I grabbed what I think might be a dupe from Good Molecules. This is their hand sanitizing mist. And I am wondering if this is gonna be a dupe for the Touchland mist. If you've never seen that, I'll link it down below. Kathleen Lights raved about it. It is a fantastic, fantastic hand sanitizer. And what I love about it, aside from like the, the fragrances and the smells being on point, is the actual shape of the container. It comes in obviously this shape and it fits perfectly. If you have like a purse or a handbag, how they've got those side pockets, theirs fits perfectly in like every single side pocket, the profile of the Touchland one does. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, damn, I gotta give it a go. It's five bucks, okay, five dollars. And I wanted to test it. So let's go ahead here, give it a spritz. Okay, it smells just like regular hand sanitizer. I don't know why I thought it would smell good like the Touchland ones do. And this one definitely doesn't. Why did I just take a whiff? <laughs> a whiff of hand sanitizer. No reason to do that, okay? Don't do that at home, kid. But I will say, even though it doesn't smell as good as theirs, the mist is fantastic. The price point's really good. And again, I'm in this for the actual packaging, like the thinness of it. I love the profile. So if you don't care about it not smelling like those, you just wanna save money, have a cute little compact situation, um, I'm a fan. Oh, and also from Good Molecules, I didn't buy this one. It was actually a free gift with purchase, which by the way, huge free gift with purchase. Yes, please. Um, this is the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. And this 
this is actually a really, really nice cleanser. I went through a full one before because I've used this. This was actually, I want to say, one of the first items they ever sent me in PR. And it does say on the front here that this is a gentle cleanser that will balance and brighten your skin. And I don't know so much that I had the brightening effect, but I do agree that it is a gentle cleanser and it does have a really, really nice balance to it. It doesn't feel overly stripping, but it does a really nice job at cleaning your skin. So I actually really like this and uh, I, I will use it because it's good. And did I mention a hell of a beefy ass free gift? Yes, please. Also a free gift. What do we got here? I guys, I love that I'm showing you all the free gifts and I'm not even talking about what I bought. What is wrong with me? Um, I got, I'm just a sucker for free gifts. You guys, this is from IGK and Ooh, this is their first class charcoal decop. I'm sorry, their decox? I feel, feel like that's not the word. Try again. Um, this is their charcoal detox dry shampoo deep cleansing level. And I actually really do like this. I've used it before and I'm really happy this is in here because I'll actually put this in my purse because let's just be real, okay? I am an oily ass lady, like whether it's skin, hair, whatever. And in the summer, y'all, I don't know. Obviously I do know, okay? It's sweat, it's heat, it's what happens. Um, but I turn seven shades of oily on my head like like that. So I'm actually just gonna pop that right in my purse and hopefully it can help me out on those oily ass days. All right, so next up, keeping in the vein of skincare here, I have something from a brand I'd never actually heard of. This is from Holofrog, which the branding, by the way, is so freaking cute. I love the container. It feels really, really nice. And even on the inside here, it has like cute little lily pads and stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. You guys know I'm a packaging fiend. Um, but I picked this one up because it actually has really, really good reviews. This is their Halo AHA and BHA Evening Serum. And it's supposed to be like a resurfacing type serum and it says glow in the dark and the morning after too. I'm like, oh yes, honey, please resurface that skin, make it good, make it, bitch, shave that skin down, make it round, okay? Not in like the creepy Hannibal Lecter way, but in like the good glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and lactic acid kind of way, yes, bitch. But basically what it says here on the back, I'm just gonna read it to you, okay? Not basically. What it says is that even healthy skin has its off days. <laughs> bitch, yes, it does, okay? My, my, my skin typically has more off days than on, but who's kidding? Um, incorporating a resurfacing step into your skin care routine that not only exfoliates dead skin cells, but also introduces repairing and nourishing helpers is basically the hit of skincare. To the eye of the beholder, Halo works to address uneven tone and texture. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, excess sebum. Hello, oil right here. Be get on my face, okay? Um, fine lines. Got them. And enlarge pores. Bitch, these things are craters. You could fit cheeseburgers in them, okay? I got, I got, some, I got some pores, okay? Keep talking. Um, but behind the scenes, Halo also repairs skin cell damage damage and stimulate cell turnover for skin that not only looks renewed, but behaves healthier as well. So I am in the game for it, you guys. I, I will obviously let you know. Okay, I'll keep you updated if I like it, if I don't. But like all the claims as well as the reviews looked very promising. So I am on board. Okay, yes. All right, so next up, okay, I'm just gonna be honest. I fell down this rabbit hole. It was very late, okay, in my defense. It was like two o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep. And on Beautylish, they have like this section where you can go and like read articles and stuff. And I fell into this little area about brush care <laughs> and brush cleaning. These are the things I read in my spare time, you guys. I'm so weird. Um, but I fell into this one, and it was talking about, you know, like, brush cleaning, that sort of thing, and, like, different things that they offer to do it. And I've always been a really big fan of the Sigma soaps. Like, I've, I've always used those. I've always, I've always had good luck with them. But this one I really, really liked. I was reading about it. This is from the brand called Clean Apothecary, and it is a solid brush shampoo in the scent Lavender. Oh, that smells so nice. Very light. Not like a fake fragrancy kind of way either. And it's so, so nice. But I was reading about it and basically what you do, just like with a lot of other like brush soaps and stuff, you take it, you know, you get the brush wet like so and you kind of swirl it around in here, making sure to keep it obviously pointed down. You don't want that water coming down into the ferrule if you didn't know. Um, and you just kind of take it, swirl it around, rinse it off and obviously hang it to dry. But while I was reading this whole article, moral of the story, um, they recommended this. So I wanted to give it a try. And then I also wanted to try this one. This is their Beauty So Clean Conditioning Brush Cleanser. And I believe this one is actually like an instant, um, an instant cleanser. So you can swipe it on, brush it, and uh, towel it off with a paper towel. Yes, yep, it says on here, it uh, effectively cleans, rejuvenates, and removes bacteria from all cosmetic brushes. And you know what, do I have, hold on, do I, do I have a way we can test this? Because bitch, do I have dirty brushes? Oh my God. All right, so I'm gonna go in here with my bronzer brush. This is my Duo Fiber from Ulta. It's always looking some kind of crusty busty. I mean, it's not too bad right now because I just cleaned it, but let's go ahead here. 
give a little spurts, and then I'm just gonna wipe it on this old rag that I found. All right, so the bristles on this brush are kind of stained, but this actually did a really, really nice job. You can see right here, there's like all kinds of bronzer coming off, and it's it's all over the place. I spread it out, but uh, that actually works really, really well. Okay, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on how it works with like, you know, more intense like eyeshadow brushes and stuff, but so far, so good. Also, one more thing I wanna mention about this, pause real quick. Um, Normally, I think the go-to standard is like Cinema Secrets, right? That's the big blue one. Everybody uses it. Even I have have some. It's it's the go-to. But the thing I don't like about that one specifically, Cinema Secrets, is that it does have a very, very intense smell. Like, it's overwhelming. It's, like, right in your face. And I have a really hard time with it sometimes because my senses just get really overloaded easily. And I like that with this one, it has almost no smell to it. Like, it's it's very, very light in fragrance. And right now, I can't, what was that? <laughs> but creepy. Uh, but right now, I can't even smell it, which is refreshing, to say the least. Right, so next up, do I want to... Mm, okay, I'll, I'll save it, but spoiler alert, Danessa Myricks, okay? Danessa Myricks is in the house. I love her. Um, so we'll get into that here in a second. But first of all, we need to talk about this little ditty because um, y'all know how much, how much, okay, how much do I love nail polish? Dear God, let me count the ways, okay? So I went ahead and I grabbed a couple from Smith & Colt, which I know is what they're known for. Oh my God, this packaging. <gasps> oh, this packaging is a stunning. Look at this. This is in the shade, what is this, Ice Tears. Oh my God, the packaging, the presentation, everything about this is gorgeous. So that's number one. And then I also grabbed this really beautiful, fun pink color. What the fuck? <gasps> this one leaked. No, you guys, I'm so sad. That is a shocker too from Beautylish. I, you literally, I almost never have a problem with Beautylish, like packaging, shipping, anything like that. So this had to have been a problem with the polish and like the the um, seal on it or something. Um, but nonetheless, okay, I guess I'll, I'll write them about that. Cause yeah, oh, it did. It leaked all around the seam. Can you guys see? There's like a big chunk stuck to the side right there. Super cute. Um, but this is in the shade Pop, Poppy Poppy, like P-O-P-P-Y. P-A-P-I. So like poppy pappy kind of situation. Uh, but either way, I love the color. It's so beautiful, so vibrant for like going into springtime. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. I can't believe this leak. That's okay. I'll get a hold of Beautylish. It won't be a problem. You guys, they, their customer service is fantastic if you've never dealt with them. Um, so I'll go ahead and get a hold of them. But oh my God, this packaging. Like, are you kidding me? How beautiful, oh my God, and they feel so luxurious. By the way, if you've ever tried these or anything I talk about, um, please let me know down below. But uh, with these, have you ever tried these nail polishes? Do you like them? What do you feel about the payoff, the longevity? Give me all your thoughts because I am so curious. My God, these are gorgeous. All right, and then the other nail color that I got, this is from a brand, what is this called? Cirque Colors, it looks like. And this is their nail polish. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. It's in the shade Good Vibes Only. And I don't know how well you can see it, but it's kind of like a green shimmery type shade. Oh my God, this is absolutely beautiful. Now I will say as far as the packaging goes, obviously it's not like as upscale as Smith & Colt, but to be fair, I don't think I've ever seen that beautiful of a nail polish anywhere. Like not even on like the really, really high-end brands have I seen that gorgeous of packaging. So I can't hold that against it. It's just like a standard container, very, very much so on par with like my lights lacquer, you know, that sort of thing, which is what I use all the time. It's what I'm wearing right now, um, her newest spring collection, but this is so pretty. But either way, I am really excited to test this out. Again, a brand I'd never tried, so I wanted to give it a go. I, I wanted to, you know, branch out of my little nail polish bubble for like a second. Not to, not to say that I'm leaving my lights lacquer, because I am not, but I wanted to give it a try. Their stuff just looked super beautiful, so I grabbed that. All right, so next up, this one was a kind of a big deal purchase for me, because I decided to buy a fragrance, which first of all, it's always a ballsy situation, okay? Anytime you buy a fragrance online, like Sight Unsmelled, you never really know what you're getting into, but Jo Malone released a couple of new fragrances obviously to Beautylish and I saw this one sitting there I read all the notes I read the notes of all three I think there were three new fragrances and I read this one and I was like you know what like damn it I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna take that leap and I am not upset that I did you guys this is without any further ado whoop -ha, brown chicken brown cow but brown cow okay let's just really get into it throw the gata and talk about it so this is oh my god this big old beefy boy I went with the big one because I figured like you know just go big or go home at that point because by the way can we just talk about the ripoff of perfumes if you get the like the sensible size, like, oh, I've never smelled it. I'm going to get the smaller one. If you get that one, you're always like, oh, I'm torn because I'm being more
more sensible. I'm technically spending less money, but then you're also spending double the amount of money like per um, per ounce or per milliliter if you actually like it. So I'm always torn because it's like, what if I love it? But what if, but what if, but what if? And I'm such a fragrance fiend that I can't get the little one because then I'm, I'll be mad if I love it and I got the little one, like I'll be pissed. So all of this to be said, okay, I picked up the big beefy boy right here. Oh my God, like look at this packaging. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the simplicity. I don't know what is going on here, but I am obsessed and God, this little lid also using this for a craft. Oh my God, it's so cute. Well, I should probably tell you what it is. This is the Jo Malone Nashi Blossom Cologne and this is in the size, the 3.4 fluid. So again, it's the bigger one. Oh my God, this smells so good. It is more of like a... I would say like a like a florally sweet kind of smell. I will say, while I love the smell of this, something to keep in mind if you do decide to test it out is uh, be mindful like of the spray. Like when you first spritz it, start small and work your way into bigger and better territories, okay? Because the smell of it, when you first spritz it, it's kind of like, oh God, like, oh God, it, it kind of kicks you a little bit. Like it's got some intensity. And I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know how to actually, you know, accurately describe fragrances because I definitely don't. But uh, I can tell you that I like it. I like the aromated feel. I would definitely say, you know, maybe, maybe Make your spritz a little bit farther away maybe walk through it if you want like a less intensity but the actual smell itself is very nice all right now on to the last couple of items you guys i picked up a couple of things from danessa myricks and i am so excited okay so first of all we got to start off with this balm contour i grabbed it in the shade light one and if you oh my god it looks it looks so beautiful okay if you've been following me for any length of time you know how excited i am to try this oh my god i haven't even dipped my little finger in it yet i just feel like we should oh that has such, such good texture. Um, I have been so excited. I remember talking about this in a purchaser pass right when they launched. And uh, ever since then, like ever since the moment that I saw it, I was just overwhelmed with excitement because Danessa Myrick's beauty is so beautiful. Ooh, that is actually quite gorgeous. Okay, so a couple of things I'm noticing. Number one, no smell, which is perfect. I love the compact. I love the packaging. And I really like this formula, just like applying it to my hand because it actually, for being more of like that balm type texture when you apply it, it really doesn't have um, like an overwhelming uh, slip to it. Like once you put it down, it really stays. Like I can sit here and try to blend that out. And I feel like if anything, it's really like adhered nicely to my skin. You know what? Seems how I'm just sitting here like wearing day old makeup anyways. And is there technically powder? Probably, okay. But shouldn't we make Maybe take and just like, you know, just a little dab and like try it out, probably. You know what? I'm going to grab that brush from Look Fantastic, the one that I actually said I would like with a cream bronzer here. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of product and stamp it on. Keep in mind, again, if this looks funky, I uh, have day old makeup on, uh, but I just want to take a little bit here and get a feel for that texture. Wow, that applies so effortless. <sighs> Ooh, I like that. I don't know. Ooh, bitch. Okay, that looks so good. Okay, so the texture of this is so, so nice. I don't know how well, obviously, it's going to show up on here with all my other uh, makeups and things, but just pressing that in, I feel like the payoff is perfect. Like, it's not too much. It's not overwhelming, but it also is present enough that you get, like, the perfect little light-casted shadow on your little chic reds there. Oh, my goodness gracious. Like, look at that. Oh, bitch, Danessa Myricks, you did the damn thing. I, I loved it. Oh my God, do I love Danessa Myricks. All right, so last but certainly not least, also from Danessa Myricks, I decided to pick up two of the Twin Flames Multi-Chrome Pigment for Eyes and Face, and these look gorgeous. And this is another one of those items that I've had on my list ever since it launched. Oh my God. Okay, so first up, this is the shade, what is this? Uh, the shade Obsession. Oh my God, this packaging is so freaking cute. Let's go ahead and swatch it. It's just a flat paddle applicator. Wow, that is intense. When I tell you that was the lightest freaking swipe, Oh my God, absolutely beautiful. Okay, th again, that is the shade Obsession. And then the other shade right here that I also picked up is the shade Sweetheart, which appears to be more of like a, uh, I would say like a darker green kind of multi-chrome. Okay, so I just had to do it, you guys. I had to just apply a little teeny bit. That color was so beautiful. Oh my God, and it applies like a freaking dream, like the littlest amount, and then I'm just blending it out with my finger, like that much right there, and then just very lightly tapping it. Oh my God, that is such a beautiful color. You guys, with that, we are officially done. I hope that you like this video. Please let me know all of your thoughts down below, whether it is on the video, if you like them, you think I should maybe do more of them, like general thoughts and opinions around the content, um, or if you have any thoughts and opinions around the makeup, if you've already tried them, if you got any tips and tricks, leave all of that down in the comments. I would love, love to hear from you. Of course, like I said at the beginning of the video too, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and follow me on Instagram, all of which would be greatly appreciated, especially 
especially Instagram. And you guys, I think that that is everything. Thank you all again so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I just, I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. And I hope you all have an amazing, amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Do I even want to know what my makeup has looked like on camera <laughs> this whole time? I am like a busty, crusty, hot ass mess. And I'm not mad about it. Hope y'all love my busty, crusty ass. <laughs> it's looking, looking so good.